I spent a lot of time in nature and this is really the first place in my life when I've really been able to connect with the pure energy of not only the energy around nature but the energy of the land, the energy of the, the plants, the energy of the rocks and especially the energy of the river which was amazing. There is something so uh, wonderful about the quality of the water, the quality of the food, the quality of the air, the, the, the walkways, even the walkways, that it, it causes you to slow down and be conscious of your steps and therefore conscious of your mind, conscious of your body, conscious of what messages may be coming through through nature or through the angels just remarkable transformations can happen here. I've had experiences here that I could not imagine in terms of energetics and it all felt real which for me has been a quest my whole life of having God sensing it in the physical reality and as someone else said that combination that connection through is here. This whole valley is divine. Sitting on the porch of our cabin we had some of the most moving and powerful work that we've done in the valley. So everything is a reflection of love. You see it in the accommodations. You see it in every stone that's been hand placed. You see it in the staff. You see it everywhere. The meticulousness of all the things from the labyrinth to the accommodations to the food, uh, everything that would just nourish and slow the mind and the body and the spirit down so that we are aware of everything, whether it's the little beetle or the little centipede or the raindrops coming down from the sky or the, the dry leaves outside or the red rocks um, or just what's happening inside and outside of us. Everything, every rock, every morsel <laughs> is, is living in this valley and it's helped um, me to renew my own sort of commitment to living. This is a place to really be able to appreciate everything from the most small particle to, you know, the largest um, mountain, but I'm reminded of the importance of everything no matter what its size. Somebody said the very first night, wait, 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 don't step on that beetle. And I was like, okay, <laughs> it's, it's a beetle. But, you know, that whole mindset and energy around it has really helped me to realize the divinity more thoroughly in every living thing. Because, honestly, I wouldn't have thought about a beetle before in that way. Um, and I saw a little ant, and I was like, well, namaste, baby. Um, and <laughs> I wouldn't have done that before. I never would have considered that there was even a place like this on earth. And the very fact that you've been able to bring it all together in physical and mystical magic and spirituality from the moment that I stepped on this land to the moment that I leave, know that I will carry it with me always. Everywhere you go here, you see someone has taken the stones of the land and reorganized them in a particular way to become beautiful pieces of art and function, starting with the labyrinth, you know, and, and then everywhere you go, you find them. And so when you're on retreat, you want it to be relatively effortless, and it has been. The level of um impeccability for a retreat center. This, this creates a space for changes in people's souls to take place, supporting the whole new paradigm that we're stepping into to unfold. That it's heaven on earth. I mean, it's heaven meeting earth. I really appreciate being here because it, this is some of the most just potent energy I've ever felt. You know, just incredible just to come into some of the sites that are here and to just really feel so moved and just, I mean, you can touch it, it's so strong. This has been some of the most transformational work I've ever done and I appreciate this beautiful space to do it in. When you stand in your light, your core essence, your core truth, you are a reflection of the divine and in that vibrational energy, you are able to serve others. I climbed up on Michael's trail 
And then I looked down and there was Omira standing there. I could see you in your beautiful turquoise. And I thought, I feel so safe and so cared for and so inspired and so um, in awe of the magic of this land and the magic that you have brought together to allow us all to feel that magic within us. So I thank you so deeply. I want in the first place to thank you all. There's two reasons to be very thankful. There's a reason of personal satisfaction that what we, what our dream was is happening and you're testifying that. But even more so, we know that this place is beautiful and powerful. And by you opening up to it, you are contributing to it as have people before and as will people after you. So thank you all so much. This is really what we both have been dreaming about for years, to have this experiential connection with people that have felt the land. But in reality, what you have all felt is yourself. You've seen reflected back to you your beauty your order, your magnificence. And that's exciting to participate in that. So thank you for inviting us here. This is very beautiful, so thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all.